Hey guys, hi. Happy Wednesday. I am Jo with Cook to Restore and I am live on the Redesign with Prima page uh, today to show you something fun and interesting. So uh, I am going to be using decoupage papers today, which are a new, a new release also. So it is really going to be exciting. So uh, for today's project, I am going to be using this decoupage paper. It is called the Angelic Rose and it's the new release from Redesign with Prima. And if time allows, I will be using this. That is the, I think I've written the name, the dark, the mask. And this is the one that I will be using on the other piece. So I'm going to tilt this camera down so that I can show you what I am working on and you can follow me, okay? So I just finished uh, online schooling with my kids and I quickly hopped on here to show you what's going on. So I am working on these two nightstands, if you see uh, next to me, these are the two nightstands and I'm going to be doing the decoupage here on the uh, drawers. So I will be using both. One is for... Ow, I don't know what happened. Okay, Facebook just acts up sometimes. So let me know if uh, I'm audible and you can watch this. Uh, let me raise the volume so that you can hear me, okay? So I am going to be using, let me pull it this side so that, yeah. So this is the new release from Redesign with Prima. It's one of the decoupage paper. Do you see this pattern here? And this is called the Angelic Rose and I am using for one nightstand this one and the other one I will be using the Dark Demas. So when you do decoupage, you have to make sure your surface is rough. So either this is chalk painted or it's the bare wood. So what I typically do is I will take a sanding sponge and I will just sand it. Once it's all sanded, I will just take a paper towel regular and just clean it to take off any dust from here. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to be using a clear coat. This clear coat is Dixie Belle Satin and a flat brush. And what I am going to do is, first I'm gonna show you how I align the decoupage paper. So I will just go and put my decoupage paper here so that it's in continuity with the nightstand on, on both the drawers. So this drawer goes on the top. So I will go and put it in front of this. And what I'm gonna do is, if you take, see this sheet, this whole thing will not suffice a nightstand. So I'm going to move this up here, place it like this, and then I will say take the second sheet and I'm going to pull this here. So I know that it will be in the flow. So I'll start working on this, or maybe I can start here because it is just right in front of me and then move on to this. If you're watching this, let me know where you are tuning in from. And I am Joe from click to restore and I'm here. And I'm Brand Ambassador for Redesign with Prima and uh, I thought I can just hop on live and show you how to do decoupage. So on the bare wood or a painted surface, you just go and put a coat of clear coat. So you must have seen the live video that Tammy posted on the group. And that's one of my videos on how to decoupage an easy way. So you see, you just go and put some clear coat. It can be any clear coat. But if you want to try the Dixie Bell clear coat, I have left the link above where you can order the clear coats. You can, I have also put the link where you can order your new transfers, new molds and new decoupage paper. And if you like, you can find your closest retailer too. So once your top coat is on, hey Laura, hey Shauna, nice to see you. So I will take the decoupage paper, tissue paper and just put it on and I'm going to nicely press it to take out any air bubbles that may be here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for a few seconds and then I'm gonna go and take my sanding sponge. Now you can take a sanding sheet or a sanding block, whatever is available for you. And I am gonna take the excess out. Let me move this so that you can see it. Can you see this? And then I'm gonna just sand it. Sand the trim, and it's such an accurate way 
crisp and clean. You can cut it beforehand, but that's very time consuming and I find that this is the best way to take the extra out. So I'm gonna just put it right here and I am gonna sand this edge. Just hold it firm with your hand here and you can just go and sand it. And see, you can trim this extra out. Because it's a curvier, I will have to use the scissor to cut this part. But I can just go and sand this tip here, right here. So you see? This fits right to the size of the nightstand. And now I am going to take my top coat again and put on top of this tissue paper. Why I'm doing this? Because I want to seal it. And once it dries, it is gonna dry firm. So when you put the second coat of uh, the top coat on this, it has to be a good layer a thick layer of the top coat and it can be any top coat like i said you can use any brush i don't use a mod podge or any adhesive uh, for me it has worked out really well the top coat from bixiba so once it's done it's like this and now i will just keep it aside and let it dry and i will move on to my first drawer here which i kept here so again i'll repeat the same process I will take some clear coat, put it on here, I have a few videos on how to decoupage on my YouTube channel and also on IGTV so if you like you can go and check them out there. So I am going to put this here and you can lift it and move it because it's not adhesive, it's just a top coat and that's the fun part about using a top coat. So again, I will just take the sanding block and trim the extra. So once it's trimmed, I will just go ahead and seal it. So see, decoupage is really easy and it just makes your furniture look pretty. If you are worried about it um, to be how durable it is, you can always go and put a water-based, water-resistant top coat like Dixie Belle Gator Hide and it is it becomes waterproof. And once it cures, you can also do a clear wax over it and not worry about a thing. So easy peasy right and i'll just leave it here and i have to let it dry for a few hours before i can just flip it and start doing the other side and other side i have enough decoupage paper to do my other side so i will take this other drawer out and i will do it in the other decoupage paper and it is the dark damask and I am going to be using this one here. So just make sure you put it, align it, and see the pattern so that if, when you open it, it is all in a flow. So I just go and I just go and put it here and so that they align. So I'm going to start from the second drawer. And again, put the top coat. If you have any questions, let me know what grit is the sanding block. It's 220 grit. And 
you can use and this uh, sanding block I have is 320 but you can use any higher grit for this you can use a block you can use a sanding sheet and that sponge is from Dixie Bell it's it's really nice so but you can try any of the sanding sponges I just feel uh, like cutting in the uh, beginning and aligning it it takes a lot of time and effort but uh, just sanding at the edges it's much faster and easier way to work with your decoupage pa papers tissue papers so just set it and it's and also the top coat gives you some time like you can I can just go and move it and you know align it but the if you use a spray adhesive I mean it's difficult so again I will just take and sand the excess like you can see here how beautifully the sanding uh, method works I don't know if you've tried this have you anyone of you um, all my in all my videos uh, when I do decoupage I use this method and I really find it very forgiving and easy and very precise and clean so once you're sanding you just go this way so that there is no air bubble underneath and there is no wrinkle you will realize when you put the uh, sanding the decoupage tissue paper on the surface it will not stick to the first layer it will take time until it dries and cures but once it's on there it will be firm so this edge I mean there is a curve here so I'll have to just cut it off because this, it's not straight, it's the edge here. So once it's all done here, I have to go back and seal it immediately. Oh, you have ordered going to, yes, Laura, I just hope, uh, there are two nightstands here, so one I'm making very feminine for her, and one other I'm making like a bit masculine, so for her husband. So I hope they are gonna like it. And I just wanted to hop on here to do this live so I can show you the um, new release from Redesign. So in case you like these papers, there are a few more variety. You can just hop on and order. You can find the closest re retailer from the website or I have left the link above if it makes it easier for you to just go and order from there. So I know that this is yours. So once I put this tissue paper on top of this, it's going to be you know, in the flow and whatever is left, I'm gonna go be going and using the other side of it. So if you feel that your surface is rough, just take a sanding sponge or a block and sand it. Even if it's a painted piece, uh, make sure it's not sealed. For me, it hasn't worked out well. I have to uh, do it on a painted surface. Um, just like I use my transfers so in the same way I have to use it so I'll take this decoupage here and uh, go and put it right on top of it and you see you can do the decoupage on your furniture in no time with the top cup it's so fast and easy now I left a trim here let me move it a little bit lower I left a trim here now with the top coat that's the easy part is i can go and lift it back lift it up and just move it a little bit forward and align it again but with adhesive i can do that right so it happens that this is not straight here this has not fallen on this right on the spot so you have to just go and move it so I'll just go and sand it, just hold it firm and sand it. And it just comes out in a jiffy. See, look here. So I hope you're enjoying and uh, I hope you are excited to use the uh, tissue papers now. If you haven't used them yet, you can use it on the front of your piece or anywhere using the same process. Make sure to seal them back. So I'll have to cut this again right here. And then 
go and put the top coat on it. So the second coat of top coat has to be more dense and thick layer compared to the first one. And once it dries, you can put another coat of your clear coat on, but once it's completely dry. If you feel that any edge is not sealed, you can go and seal it back. So I will be doing my second coat on this uh, after I, uh, I would say six to eight hours. It will be completely dry, but I will still do the second coat just to be sure that while taking, pulling them out and inside, um, it just doesn't, doesn't come out. So here is the decoupage drawers. I hope you like them and I will just let it dry like I did this. So you can see the two designs that I did here is the Damask, the mask drawer and the Angelic Rose. So these are the two I did and see it's kind of drying here. It's still wet, but I can see that it is gluing to the surface. It's gluing to the surface when it's drying and you cannot pop it out once it completely dry. So hope you liked today's live and uh, uh, I hope you want to go ahead and try uh, some decoupage paper. So you can just order it from the link or you can find your closest retailer. So you don't need much for this. You need a clear coat, you need a brush, you need a decoupage paper and you need a sanding a sheet or a sponge or a block. And just the four things and you can do a beautiful decoupage on your furniture. So thank you so much. Thanks, Shana. Thank you guys for hanging out with me here and you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Take care.